I'm Tom Hawthorne from Flawborough Farms. We're a family-run farming partnership uh, based in the county of Nottinghamshire in England. Um, predominantly arable farmers farming on some heavy clay soils, growing a vaster range of combinable crops. The main reason we sort of really invested in it was also the fact that it gives us a peace of mind that we're not at the combine all the time, so it, we know that we are getting the best output and and also equally not losing the amount of crop on the floor we hope not to lose. For our, we're also contract farmers, so we farm for various other landowners locally, and they sometimes might question how fast our combine's traveling down the field. And by having the Bushel Plus system, particularly with the app, we can record losses, what we've got, and we can show to them if they really do want to question it about what we are throwing over the back or not throwing over the back. So historically, whenever we were doing losses tests, we would always let the combine go past uh, and have a look on the floor afterwards. Or the other method is, is that you would stand somewhere near it, behind it, with a shovel or something to try and catch it and then try and work out the maths yourself uh, to work out what your losses were. The beauty, again, of the Bushel Plus system is you have your remote control. So you, once you've, at the end of the headland, put your magnetic dropper and your pan on, when the combine's stationary and turned off, you can then drive alongside it out of the dust. And when yourself and the driver agree that it's a good time to drop it, you press the button, let the combine disappear, and then you go and find your tray. You haven't got to be anywhere near anything uh, at the wrong time when stuff's moving and potentially stuff can go wrong and concentrations have lost. So again, health and safety, it completely ticks the box. I don't think there's probably a better way of doing it in any, in any form at all. Yeah, I mean, it's like anything new, isn't it? There's always, and I, and I was the same when I first, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it costs a bit more money maybe than I thought it might cost, but in the scheme of what you gain back from getting your combine set, it is absolutely peanuts. You're paying for it, you know, in the first year without even worrying about it, let alone probably in the first few hours of using it. Uh, but for, yeah, for me, people are always, it's one of those things, I think it's one of those products, until you've seen it, used it, or know someone you trust to talk to about it, to say that it's good, I think you're gonna be a little bit, do I really need one of those? Whereas if I, actually once you've used it, once you've had it, uh, it's, it's obvious to me. Everyone, no one likes spending money, do they? But the problem is, and people will spend money on a leather seat and a combine for X amounts of pounds, but they won't really think about the fact that actually this system will, you know, it's cheaper than a leather seat and a combine and will probably save you more money than a leather seat will ever gain you. So yeah, it's, 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 yeah. In the scheme of per hectare, per tonne, per whatever you want to call it, it's just nothing, nothing. I, it, there's, there's not a negative to it, is it? No, no. You're, you're, you're gaining a benefit from either more combine output or you're putting more grain in the tank. That's a simple way. Or you were set perfectly as you were before and happy and therefore you go home with a peace of mind thinking that you've done as good a job as you can do. As my old man tells me, I can't say it on camera, well, I will say it on camera, shit in, shit out. Shit information in gives you shit, alpha, mate, shit information out. Yeah. So therefore, <laughs> therefore, the, 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 the more decent information you give yourself, the more you can use it, the more you can make a decision on it.